Hey guys, this is one of several of my tutorials on uh, different retouching tools in Photoshop. I'm using CS4 and uh, also several other older versions of Photoshop have these same tools. They've been been around for a while. What I'm going to show you this time is just really quickly how to use something called the clone stamp tool and I found this really weird looking picture of some fruit thing carved in wood that I got on the shelf downstairs so um, it's not really a picture that I can use for much but for this tutorial it's perfect and what I'm going to do to just say that first is that I'm going to take one of these white lines here that have been carved into the fruit and remove it so that it looks like that line has never been there just using the the texture from the sides here and it's really easy actually you can use this for for very many different things I'm just going to start off with using this picture for it and we're going to build on that a bit later on in my tutorials um, Every single time when I'm doing something to a picture, I like to just do it on a new layer. Just in case I want to remove it or look at before and after real quickly or it's just a, a rule that I go by. So I'm just going to press Ctrl J to make a copy of my background layer. There we go, that's layer 1. And the tool we're going to use today is found here. You see there's a picture of a stamp here. A clone stamp tool and pattern stamp tool. We're going to use the clone stamp tool. I'm just going to select that. What this tool does is that it takes pixels from wherever you choose it to in the image and uses them to paint in the area you choose. So I'm going to use uh, Alt. I'm going to press Alt see I get this my cursor changes when I'm pressing alt and then I'm just clicking to sh tell Photoshop that this is where I want to get the pixels from so I'm just clicking and releasing alt I'm just going to take the brush here and just start brushing like that and a very good idea when you're doing this to not to make sure that you don't have any you know patterns that repeat themselves or it, it, that it to make sure that it doesn't look like a, a reflection or a copy of an area you should use alt quite a bit to make sure that you put together different areas I'm just gonna alt again and again I'm not sure if you can see it on this video but when I'm using the brush I can see a, a small cross on the place where I'm getting pixels from so that's very handy as well so I'm just using alt a lot which makes the gives the most natural result that's it pretty much I mean this was before and this is after you just can't tell that there has ever been a line there so that's the first tiny meeting with the s clone stamp tool that you find there and you can just use that for a lot of things but like I said be sh make sure that you use the alt click a lot and choose like a bit of different areas around your pictures of course you need you need to have something that looks similar to what you wanna fill in there obviously so you can use this too if you have like a, a picture of a beach with uh, people on it that you don't want to be there and just want it to be sand or something there instead you can just click on alt click on the sand and draw over the people and there 
they will be replaced by sand. So, just did another line. This takes, as you see, just a minute or two before and after. And that was the introduction, introduction to the clone stamp tool. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you guys soon.